another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies, and today we don't have a review necessarily for you, but we do have something special for you. We got contacted by director Scott Goldberg. He sent us some press release footage of this new movie called The Forest Hills that he did. And, uh, uh, what's the problem? I don't recall any of this. You don't? I told you about all of this. Press release? Forest Hills? Nah, not ringing a bell. I told you about all of this! How I wanted to watch the trailer with you? There's a trailer? Of course there's a trailer! You didn't want to watch it with me! You're too busy! And frankly, you're a little snippy too. Hi Adam. How's it going? Fine. You get that review written up yet? We just got a press release for a movie called The Forest Hills. It's a new movie with Edward Furlong and Shelley Duvall. She's making her acting debut in almost 20 years. Pretty neat, huh? What do you want me to do about it? Oh, come on, Adam. Don't be so grouchy. I'm not being grouchy. I just want to finish this review and drink a beer. Do you understand? Okay. I understand. Well... Maybe I'll come by with a couple of gins after and we can watch the trailer together. Justin, <clears throat> let me explain something to you. When you come in and you interrupt, you're distracting me, you're breaking my concentration, and it'll take me time to get back to where I was. You understand? Uh-huh. We're making a new rule. When I'm in here and you hear me typing, you hear me drinking, whatever the fuck you hear me doing, that means I'm working. That means don't come in. Can you handle that? Fine. Why don't you start right now and get the fuck out of here? Shelley Duvall is gonna make another horror movie. Yes. Well, let's watch the trailer! Now you all have to be very careful of the beasts out here. I'm not gonna tell you what kind they are. Because every single time I tell the locals, they will just laugh at me like I'm some sort of a clown. And I know I'm not crazy. There's a deep, animalistic, non-human instinct only I can feel. I need to see bloodshed. I, I think right now we should start talking about making you as comfortable as possible. Make sure your your quality of life is as good as it can be. I guess Rico's gonna have to get me a casket. Do you remember I locked you and your sister in the car? I need to get help from my brother. I understand he was seen twice by two of our workers. <laughs> Deep shit right now. Now that we've watched the trailer, it also turns out that we also have some other behind the scenes footage that we're able to show you guys to get you interested in the movie. And uh, well, the first thing we have to mention is it's the return of several people to the genre. Yeah, yeah, some major names here. Shelley Duvall is coming back from a bit of a hiatus from about 20 years or so. Next thing you know, how would you like to be in a movie? Who would have known? No, now it's amnesia. Edward Furlong, too, he's coming back. After his long battle with major addictions and all, he went through hell and back. Yeah, yeah, so it's good to see that he's coming back. Serious as a heart attack. It's like almost like he's getting entranced by the nature himself, too. We're filming and action. We're both frankly shocked that Brain Scan has held up this well. I am. Are you? <laughs> I am, dude. <laughs> <sighs> Weird, dude. 
him from my shoulder. Yeah. yeah. And his back my, and right. the wall. D. Wallace is in this too. Us 80s kids will remember her from being an E.T. <laughs> yeah, Cujo. She was like the staple mother figure <laughs> in the 80s. That's right, yeah. D. Wallace was our movie mom, basically. <laughs> Stacy Nilkin is in this. Man, Tom Atkins, you dog, you. For those of you who don't know who Stacey Nielkin was, she was most famously in Halloween 3. Most believe it's just a fantasy. But I know it's more than just a fantasy. I know what I've seen. Kind of hints that it's a werewolf movie. Yeah, yeah. You can tell from the transition effects, and from what we can tell, the effects look like they're almost all practical. A lot of blood splatter. Yeah. A lot of like Edward Furlong, he shows his teeth, right? Yeah. He's transitioning. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And the, the, the hands growing very yeah. much. Very American werewolf in London style mm -hmm. transformation that, scene. That, that's right. Uh, we got access to some more behind the scenes footage of them filling some of these gory scenes and it's just b dumping blood on people. <laughs> and I can't see shit! <laughs> hitting, hitting people with fake rocks and just it looks like it's gonna be a very gory movie and it looks very down to earth like do it yourself yeah. type movie. And a lot of the scenes look like they're in the woods too, right? So it kind of has that gritty feel to it. Can you say boom? We're very honored to be involved in helping promote this movie. A lot of special things happening, you know, return yep. of all these people to the genre. And if you want to see the movie, the links will be in the description to either purchase it or see it streaming or whatever. We don't even know really what they're doing yet. We're shooting this far in advance. <laughs> yeah. The links to see the movie will be in the description here. Yeah, so check them out. And until next time, keep drinking.